Get ready for some more 2012 Holiday Stocking Stuffers. This is the Toe of Ultimate Doom bringing you a new video review presented by the Toe of Ultimate Doom, of course, and BATOYSForBABOYS.COM. Why shop anywhere else for awesome toys? BATOYSForBABOYS.COM. Anyways, we're going to take a look at the UNSC Armory Pack 2 and the Covenant Armory Pack 2 in a double review. So let's take a closer look at the UNSC Armory Pack 2. Now one little unfortunate side to the set, and I've got to say, is that the extra helmet is missing. The Hazop helmet is missing. But it doesn't matter because I prefer the Air Assault Spartan. And this is the figure that the set comes with, but once again you can switch it out for the Arctic Hazop. I kind of like this one because we don't usually see too many uh, male air assault Spartans. So, yeah, you can definitely tell this is a male air assault Spartan. It doesn't have a female figure. It does have the air assault arms. And you can't switch them out. They'll always remain the air assault arms. Now, he does come with a, uh, a second generation... SMG, a Reach style, uh, was a, a assault rifle, yeah, and uh, that's got some pretty good details. So I, I'd recommend this set just to get that weapon and a battle rifle. Now the figure itself is pretty cool. Is it fantastic? Maybe not, but I think it was okay. In in the end, it's okay. It's got this little ma uh, land mass that uh, combines with uh, other sets, so, you know, that's a little fun. If you buy a bunch of these Armory Pack 2s, then you can make a huge landscape. I don't feel uh, they put too much effort into the build of this, but I'm okay with it. It looks good. Overall, it's probably not the greatest set out there. But I'm going to say it's not the worst. And it's okay. It's probably worth buying. Alright, let's take a look at the Covenant Armory Pack 2. Now, I heard from a couple of people that this figure isn't really that great. The Yellow Commando Elite and the uh, Yellow uh, Combat Elite. I've heard a couple of complaints from it. But I think it's okay. For a couple of reasons. One, I kind of like the yellow combat elite. And two, this is probably the easiest commando elite to buy currently. So that's pretty cool. And he does come with uh, some pretty cool weapons. He comes with the needler, the whatever this thing is, the reach needler thing. I, I honestly can't rem remember what that is. And, uh... Yeah, this I can't remember either. I, I haven't really been into Halo for quite a while, so... Uh, since Halo 4 came out. So, I know that wasn't long ago, but I've been concentrating on Transformers, so... Yeah, I do collect Transformers. But I kind of like the look of this. Just a bit. I, I think I like how they created this part. Because it just feels like they're putting a little bit of effort into the build of those uh, weapon station parts, whatever they are. And the Commando Elite's not bad. I personally do like it. I like the yellow. It does have the original Elite shoulders, which I think it could have done better if it uh, had the Combat Elite. Actually, no. With the Commando Helmet, yeah, I think these shoulders are better. Um, do I have anything more to say? Once again, this is also able to combine to other armory packs, so you can have that, and you can build a huge landmass and stuff, a new battlescape if you want. You know, it's totally up to you. Would I recommend this? If you like the look of the Commando Elite, if you don't mind it being yellow, then go ahead. I mean, I think it's worth it. I actually think both of these armory packs are worth it. Well, there's not too much more to be said about these figures. I'd say I recommend them. 
I mean, they're okay. They're stocking stuffers. Yeah, I'd recommend them. Anyways, that is all for now. I'll see you guys next time in the video review or something. Whatever. Bye.